This video will show you how to use Excel to calculate the mortgage payments. For this example, we're going to assume that we are uh, buying a home that costs $200,000. The interest rate is 4%. That's an annual interest rate. We're going to assume that we're going to we're going we're going to take out that that money for for 30 years. So this will be a 30-year loan. So the number of months is going to be 360. So that information is placed here in our spreadsheet. Now based on that information we can have Excel calculate how much our monthly payment will be. And we do that using the PMT function in Excel. So if you look at this it says equals minus PMT and then in parentheses, we have E2 divided by 12, which is simply the monthly interest rate. And then we put E3, which is the, the number of months over which we're going to make our payments, which in this case is 360. And then we have the loan amount, which is $200,000. And then we put two zeros. Okay. So again, in this particular cell we are going to put this this particular function call from from Excel okay alright now once we know how much the monthly payment is then we can create a table which will tell us how much our payments are on a monthly basis and how much of, of, of the monthly payment is interest and principal. So what we do is we're going to have to create six columns. The first column will, will be the month. The second column will be the monthly payment, which will be the same from month to month. Remember that the monthly payment we calculated using Excel as 958, I'm sorry, 954.83. So that value goes directly here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever value is here and we're just going to paste it into this particular cell. Notice that I'm using the notation in Excel, but the dollar notation which fixes the cell that you're referring to. Okay, the interest is calculated on the on the loan balance on, on our particular loan. So when we start off the first month, our loan balance is going to be $200,000. So the interest is simply $200,000 times the monthly interest rate, which is our 4% divided by 12. So again, you can see the formula in, up here. Okay. The principal we get by taking the monthly payment minus the interest. So if we take how much our monthly payment is and subtract the interest, that gives us the principal. So in the first month the amount of interest we're paying is approximately six hundred and sixty seven dollars and we're and we're and the amount of principal that we're paying is two hundred and eighty eight. Now once we know the interest and the principal then we can calculate the loan balance and the cumulative interest. So the loan balance is going to be simply how much the loan amount was at the beginning of the month minus the amount of principal we paid over the first month month which is two hundred eighty eight dollars and sixteen cents so if we take this amount minus that amount that goes into this cell right here so you see that we take E4 which is right here minus D9 which is right here to give us the loan balance and finally the amount of interest we paid on this loan after the first month is simply the amount of interest we paid in the first month Let's go to the second month. So this row right here gives us information on the second, the second monthly payment that we'll be making on this particular loan. Again, the monthly payment is the same, 954.83. How much interest is in that monthly payment? Well, what we do is we take the loan balance, which is here, and we multiply that by the, the annual interest rate divided by 12. So the amount of interest that we're paying during the second month is determined by the loan balance and the interest rate, which in this case is 4%. So if we take this value here, 
times this value here and divide it by 12, we get that value there. The principal, we get by taking the monthly payment minus the interest. You'll notice that the interest that we're paying in the second month is about a dollar less than the interest we paid in the first month, and the principal that we pay in the second month is about a dollar greater than the principal we pay in the first month. As you make your, your payments on your mortgage, the amount of interest you're paying each month is going down while the principal is going up. The loan balance after the second month is the loan balance after the first month minus the principal we paid during the second month. So right here, we're going to take that value minus that value and place it there. So we take E9 minus D10, and that gives us the loan balance. The cumulative interest is simply the amount of interest we paid up to that point, which is 666.67, plus the amount of interest we paid in the second month. So here, we're taking what's here plus what's here to get the value in the cell. Now once we've done this, we can go ahead and we can drag this down. Paste it. Okay. I'll put zero at the bottom. Okay. So this gives you a table which tells you how much interest and principal you're paying each month through the life of the loan. Notice again, as, as we get further and further into our loan, we're paying, each month we're paying less and less interest and more and more principal, okay? okay. If you look at the bottom of this loan, you'll notice that the amount of interest we've paid over the, over the 30 years is $143,000, approximately $144,000, and the principal we've paid obviously is $200,000. So the total amount of the loan is $200,000 plus $143,000, which is about $343,000 or $44,000. Okay. Just a couple interesting things. What you can do is you can change the interest rate and if you like the number of months for the loan, and that will give you a different amount of interest that you you pay over the lifetime of the loan. For example, what we did here is we did a an int, we, 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 we considered a loan with this loan amount, with this interest rate, with this annual interest rate, and, and then paid over 30 years. So if we do that, we see that the amount of interest we pay is $143,739.21. Now if we were to to reduce that interest rate by 1%, the annual interest rate by 1%, we re reduce the amount of interest we pay over that 30 years by approximately $40,000. If we increase the interest rate by 1%, we increase the amount of loan, or the amount of interest that we pay over those 30 years by about $43,000. Okay. We can also consider paying that, paying that loan off in a shorter period of time. And you'll notice that if we do that, it can significantly reduce the amount of interest that we have to pay on that particular loan. The last thing I want to talk about is what's called the annual percentage rate, which is APR. When you take out a, a mortgage, you typically have to pay what are called closing costs. And these are costs that are paid up front before you get your mortgage. Let's say, for example, our closing costs are four thousand dollars. So I'm going to change, and what we're going to do is we're going to take that four thousand dollars and we're going to put it into the loan amount. So the four thousand dollars that I have to pay for the loan, which is called the closing cost, I'm going to put it into the loan amount. So I'm going to change this to two hundred. And four thousand dollars. Okay. When we do that, you notice that it changes the monthly payment. The monthly payment went from nine forty-three to nine seventy-three. So, so it changed our monthly payment by about thirty dollars. Okay. What is the APR? Well, what the APR is is we we go ahead and we and we and we and we uh, 
put the loan amount back to $200,000. And what we want to do is we want to change the interest rate so that our monthly payment that shows up is $973.93. So what I have to do is I have to increase this. So let's say I increase it to 4.1. You see that it increased the monthly payment to $966.40. Let's say I increase that to 4.2. Well, that was too much, right? Because again, we wanted this to be 973, about 973. So I'm going to go ahead and make this 4.15. Okay, still it's not 973, 4.6. Okay, so if we change the interest rate to 4.16 and the loan amount to $200,000, it gives us the monthly payment, the same monthly payment we would get if we had a loan amount of $204,000 and an interest rate of, of 4%. Okay. This interest rate of 4.16 is, is called the annual percentage rate or the APR for this particular loan. Okay. The nice thing about having the APR is the APR is something which allows you to compare loans. So if there is one loan that has an APR of 4.16 and another loan that has an APR of 4.26, then you would prefer the loan that has an APR of 4.16. Okay. Well, that completes our, our, our presentation on how to uh, calculate uh, the uh, mortgage in Excel.